everyone, it's Lainey and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, oh my goodness, thank you so much. How are you guys doing today? I am really excited for today's video because it is something I'm totally obsessed with, I have too much of, and I don't think I'm alone. Click the like button if you are a big fan of skincare. I see you guys in the comments. I know you're out there. I feel like uh, I've had pretty good skin during this so far. I haven't had any real issues with breakouts, and I feel like my skin looks good. It's, it doesn't look my best, okay? I just want to throw that out there. Like, you know, I'm not using those super harsh anti-aging products like I was pre-pregnancy, but I feel like for being pregnant, I'm having pretty good skin. So I definitely wanted to share that with you guys, and even if you're not pregnant, who doesn't love hearing about skincare? So I am trying to be cautious during pregnancy, but I'm not trying to read every freaky article out there ever. Uh, I really have only, I believe, two main ingredients I have been avoiding in my skincare, and they are, hold on, let me, let me look at this little list here real fast, because otherwise I'll probably get them wrong. Retin-A, retinol, retinoid products, and then I have also been avoiding salicylic acid, because when you are pregnant, your skin is definitely more sensitive. I learned that the hard way. I did sleep in my makeup one night because I was just so tired. I didn't have it in me to take it off. What a mistake. I got a really bad rash all across my forehead, down to my eyebrows, and into my temples, and even down to my cheeks. So, I now take off my makeup every single night. But like I said, those are really the only two ingredients I'm avoiding. Retinol products and salicylic acid products. I definitely feel like I'm using a lighter skincare regimen than pre-pregnancy before I loved retinol products. Like, those are game changers to me, but definitely don't want to use that right now. The main mask I've been using on and off, I haven't been great about masking during this. Uh, you know, I've just been tired. <laughs> so, but, but when I do, the main mask I've been reaching for is this Elemis Superfood Veggie Mask. I did get this in BoxyCharm. I do believe this is a super expensive face product. I'm pretty sure all Elemis products are really expensive, but I will link all the skincare I'm talking about down below. I like this because it's nourishing, it's gentle, it's just an easy one. I throw it on, I might do a little bit of work around the house and then rinse it off or hop in the shower. It's just easy. I don't have to think about it. I just can put it on like a clay mask, let it sit for a bit, and I haven't had any irritation or anything like that. Do I think this is a miraculous mask? Probably not, but I mean, who doesn't need a good superfoods in their life? So I feel like it's definitely not hurting, and it is just a nice mask to have on hand. Would I purchase this? Probably not, but I have been enjoying it. And like I said, removing makeup has been really important to me because I learned the hard way. So the products I have been using to remove my makeup is, this one I haven't been using for the full four and a half months. I'd say I've been using it for about two, two and a half months. This is the Burt's Bees Cleansing Balm. I really like this. I love a good cleansing balm or cleansing oil, but a lot of cleansing balm is pretty expensive. And I found this at Target and I think it was like 14 bucks. A little bit goes a very long way. It has a very like herbally kind of smell, which I don't mind actually. It kind of, I feel like spas have like a lot of herbally scented products. So it kind of just reminds me of that. It's a light scent, it's not overpowering. It does a very good job of breaking down my makeup. I just rub this in, break everything down, rinse it off, and then go in with another cleanser. But I definitely would repurchase this. I really, really like this. Now for cleansing. On the days or nights that I'm not being lazy, I have been reaching for this Glam Glow Bubble, Gentle Bubble Cleanser. We also got this in BoxyCharm a while back. It's been in my backup stash for a while. And I love this. It does a really good job of cleansing my skin. I don't feel stripped afterwards. And I love that it says gentle because I do feel like that is important for my skin right now. It says daily conditioning cleanser. It really does leave behind just a nice amount of moisture where I still feel like I got everything off that I need to, but I don't feel overly dehydrated. I don't think this would be powerful enough to remove makeup. So if you're gonna give it a try, I definitely recommend removing your makeup first. But honestly, most cleansers really aren't meant to break down makeup unless they're really harsh and who wants that? So I have really enjoyed this. It's really nice to have on hand. It's a huge package. I feel like there's a lot of product in here and I don't need very much. And then you know I have nights where washing my face and rinsing are just 
not gonna happen. But I will not leave my makeup on. So I have been using this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is my go-to micellar. I've tried other ones. I've tried some that really burn like crazy on my eyeballs. I don't have problems with this one. I try not to get too much on my eyes, but it does a really good job of removing everything. I actually use this a lot still, even if I've done my makeup removing balm, I've cleansed, sometimes mascara just hangs on or a winged eyeliner just hangs on and I can go in with a little bit of this and it will really get the rest of it out of my um, eyelashes. So I really love this product. I actually keep it on hand for both myself and my hubby. I have finally got him mostly convinced to use this on the regular <laughs> if he showered in the morning and needs to cleanse his skin before bed he can reach for this it's just easy i love it i think my sellers do a great job and i like that they don't leave my skin feeling like gunky or greasy so this one is my favorite though for my seller this next thing is a game changer in my opinion i didn't think cotton pads could be different or game changing but these are incredible this is just a top care everyday brand these are cotton ovals but I am obsessed with these if they ever stop making them they were really cheap I think they're just like a cheaper brand but look at these things okay one side is kind of like a quilted texture the other side is smooth but they're huge if I'm wearing heavy heavy makeup I still have to use more than one of these if I actually making sure I remove my makeup but if I'm using these just for like spot removal these are awesome they're just so big it's so easy to wipe everything down they absorb just enough product of like my micellar I love these so much I will definitely be repurchasing I'm never buying any other cotton pads again they also don't believe they also don't <sighs> They also do not leave behind cotton fluff. I can't stand when that happens. I am absolutely in love with these. I always have on hand eye makeup remover. I have the Sephora one, but I would, I just, I don't reach for it a lot because I have my micellar. Uh, I probably wouldn't repurchase. Maybe I would get the little tiny travel size. It does a decent job, but I feel like the micellar works so well. I have had to reach for this when I'm wearing a really 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 stubborn winged liner or if I have a lot of lash glue on which I don't wear lashes a lot so I don't reach for it a lot but I guess it's never a bad thing to have on hand I feel like exfoliating is still really important to me in my skincare routine I can get really clogged up easily even with trying to make sure I'm cleansing well and removing makeup I will feel the clogged just rough texture through the chin around the lips and the nose and I just feel like it's really good to get off all that dead skin and let the fresh glowy skin pop through so I have still been exfoliating but I've just been kind of toning it down a bit not using it as much just kind of being cautious so I have two different products I've been using one is an AHA resurfacer by pharmacy I will tell you I have really um, pulled back on using this. I use this on a rare occasion, once in a while, not even once a week because I'm just worried it'll be too harsh for my skin. But when I really feel like I do need just a little bit better exfoliation, I will pop this on maybe once, maybe twice a month. Not a ton, but I do feel like it's good to have on hand. I feel like it does a good job. My skin looks nice. I haven't experienced any irritation from it which I think is a good sign but again I'm not going overboard I'm not using this like every single week it's just something I keep on hand for what I just need I just feel like my skin needs a little extra loving I've been reaching for this the one I have been using every week because it is very gentle is the good molecules pineapple exfoliating powder if you've used the Tatcha rice powder this is basically the same thing I've also used one by um maybe is it like derma derma blend maybe don't quote me on that I've used another one like this Tatcha is definitely my favorite but this honestly save the coin reach for this I feel like it does just as good of job as the Tatcha it says it's formulated with fruit enzymes vitamin C and rice powder to soften brighten and gently exfoliate it does do a really good job of exfoliating and I do feel like it's very 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 gentle because when you use it it comes out exactly like a fine rice powder you put a little water with it almost make kind of like a paste then I work it in it gets a little bit bubbly between your hands and I just massage it into my face and it gets very bubbly almost almost like a cleanser not quite um, 
but it's not like one of those exfoliators like a sugar exfoliator or a salt exfoliator or um, I had one by Bare Minerals that was almost like a sand. It's not like that like you can't feel the grittiness between your fingers. It is really a gentle, gentle exfoliation. I love this product. I would definitely repurchase. I am pretty obsessed with this. And the best part is after I use it, this area is so much smoother, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And then as for just basic, regular skincare, the things I've been reaching for. When I had that rash, I called my OBGYN and asked what they recommended. And they actually said I could pop open a capsule of pure vitamin E and rub that on. And I definitely feel like it helped. It helped get rid of it. I was actually mixing vitamin E in a little tea tree oil. I always have tea tree oil on hand if you haven't tried it. To me, it's miraculous. You got a pimple, you got a cut, you got a sore, you got a little rash. It's wonderful. It like fixes everything. But this with a little bit of tea tree, it just cleared up that rash right away. I'm, I'm keeping these extras on hand because when I get those new fresh pink stretch marks, because it's going to happen at some point, I'm going to pop these open and rub it directly on the fresh stretch mark and hope that helps it heal and just heal nicer, smoother, bring down the redness. But these I actually just got at Dollar General, super affordable. Then the other three products I have almost used up. I have been using these Juice Beauty, the organic solution. Got these in BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm does come in handy for skincare. And I feel pretty good about using them because they're, they say they're organic. Hopefully they're not lying. I have the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum and the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment. Are these life-changing skincare products? No. I don't think any gentler based product is. I'm just being real. I feel like I'm happy with my skin. I'm very comfortable with where my skin is at and I don't have to feel so bad about using these. Um, but obviously there are better products out there. If I wasn't pregnant, I wouldn't repurchase these, but for right now they're doing the trick. They are keeping my skin looking good. I feel like my pores look good and I feel like my skin is not aging at an extreme speed during this nine months, which is really, really important to me. So I have enjoyed using these. I'm glad I got them in BoxyCharm. I'm glad I had them on hand. This one is a little bit of a thicker serum. I kind of like lighter, runnier serums, but it's doing the trick. This eye cream is nice because it has a similar consistency to the overall facial serum, but it, it does absorb nicely. I don't feel like it messes with my makeup. If I put makeup over top, it doesn't feel heavy. I have used quite a few eye products that will actually make my skin break out because it's just too heavy and rich for this area of my skin. So, so far so good. And then the moisturizer I have really been liking is the Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. It's like any other water cream really that I've used. I like the one by Neutrogena. I love the one by Tatcha. This is just as good as the rest of them. I love that it. it's just really light. It's really hydrating. It doesn't feel heavy. This The smell is a little like cucumbery. Again, kind of spa-like. It's light. It's not overwhelming. It soaks in really fast and I do feel like it's kept my skin nice and hydrated. So I'm very glad that I had this on hand. Again, another BoxyCharm skincare item. So this is coming real handy. I definitely feel like if you are also pregnant, water creams are a really Really nice go-to simple gentle moisturizer to use. The lips. <laughs> the lips are always a problem and they're getting drier and drier as the weather changes. I totally always keep a Laneige special care lip sleeping mask on hand. I did um, like a month ago splurge and buy the Tatcha lip mask so we'll see what I think of that but I put this on every single night before bed. It is a ritual. I cannot sleep with dry lips like cannot sleep if my lips feel dry so I put a good coat of this on every night I wake up my lips feel hydrated they feel smoother and sometimes I'll even have a little bit left over like still on my lips so I, I really do recommend this product to you guys I love it and then we can't just forget about the skin on our body what I've been using I feel like I worry more about the products I'm using on my body than my face and my reasoning for that is because this area is such a small space compared to everything else. So I'm even pre-pregnancy, I was pretty picky about body products and the ingredients in my body products. And this is a lotion I have used before and I still like it now. This is the Alba Botanical Very Emollient Body Lotion Coconut Rescue. 
and it says no parabens, phthalates, or synthetic fragrances, hypoallergenic. Virgin coconut oil provides immediate relief for extremely dry, irritable skin. I love this stuff. It is not the cheapest lotion, but you do get a really jumbo bottle and you don't need a ton. I usually lotion up after I get out of the shower, which also helps it go farther because you got that extra moisture on your skin, spreads it out a little farther, helps it last a little bit longer. But I love this lotion. I feel like it absorbs quickly. You do kind of have to work to rub it in. If you don't rub it in right, it can leave behind almost a white cast kind of like sunscreen but that doesn't bother me that much I mean I can take a few extra seconds and just make sure I rub it in all the way I love this stuff if you don't like coconut I, I don't think the smell would bother you I really don't get a coconutty scent I love the smell of coconut it doesn't smell like that coconutty sunscreen or summery coconut smell I really don't pick up on coconut it just kind of smells like a creamy lotion scent kind of basic nothing like really in your face scent wise so even if you don't love coconut I really recommend giving this a try and then I picked up this one for just the belly this is the Alafia whipped shea butter and coconut oil for all skin types I got this at our local health food store I like it it's not my favorite it is not my favorite and if you guys have a body butter of some kind that you used on your belly when you were pregnant that you really love please let me know down below because I don't hate this but I don't love it there's something about the smell I don't love and I think it's just the smell of shea butter I think if it was cocoa butter I'd be so down because I love the scent of cocoa butter the one thing I do like about this is it's whipped I have made the mistake to and bought pure cocoa butter before and it is hard as a rock and you have to like put it in hot water to get it to melt so that you can actually apply it and that is just too much work for me this one I do like that it is totally whipped it's almost like a thick frosting I just don't love the smell the other thing I don't love about it is it is such a rich thick formula it's very heavy on the skin like very heavy for just the belly it is okay but I have made the mistake of trying to put it on my whole body it's really you gotta work to like spread it out and rub it in it feels quite heavy for belly it's fine for putting on my feet it's fine or a really bad dry hand day it's fine but I wouldn't recommend it for all over it's just very heavy a little bit sticky like it doesn't really soak in it sits on the skin so you know would I buy it again for the belly if it keeps the stretch marks at bay if it keeps the itchiness at bay yes but if you have recommendations I am still looking for that like wow gotta have it body butter for the belly but this is the one I've been using and again I feel like it's working might not be my favorite but I feel like it's doing its job and that is a lot of products but that is everything I have been using and like I said I do feel like I'm in a good place with my skin and that's all I can really ask for because you never really know how pregnancy is going to affect your skin if you guys have skincare recommendations whether it's for pregnancy or not uh, for people who aren't pregnant leave it down below I always love hearing about skincare I'm kind of obsessed so yes you guys that is everything for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you haven't clicked the subscribe button go ahead click the subscribe button join the lash fam you will not regret it and as always please try to stay positive because at the end of the day that is truly all we can try to do thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.